Good afternoon, Arcadia families, and welcome to my bi-weekly executive principal newsletter. And I'd like to start by thanking some of the parents who have given us great feedback uh, about the transport and pick up and drop off and orientation of parking around the school site. And actually to some parents who've actually written to Nikhil. I'm delighted to say Nikhil have responded really favorably for us. We've had 11 pedestrian access uh, points put in over the last three days. The team from Nikhil are going to continue with that over the course of the next four weeks and complete uh, some hard standing bollards to ensure that all of those pedestrian accesses are protected and so parents can't park or visitors can't park up on the pavements to block the transfer and flow. This should significantly improve the quality of safety and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing that project complete, uh, completed by uh, the end of the spring break. COVID updates for the school uh, at Arcadia. We're now in our fourth week of no positive cases at all amongst our entire community, which is brilliant news. We're now 91% vaccinated as a staff, uh, with a few remaining staff waiting for their either first or second vaccinations um, with AstraZeneca or Pfizer. That's a really positive uh, standpoint for us as a school. Many of you will have seen some key promotion features for the removal of the Governor's 15% scholarship from the end of this academic year. What that refers to is new joiners to Arcadia School from year one to year six. Your um, scholarship awards that would have been given over the course of the last five, four, three or two years will remain for life for your children. So to, please don't panic, but do share that information if you have friends, or family members, or you're thinking of enrolling some of your younger siblings to the school, please be reminded that 15% is in place and for all new enrolments up until the end of July. Thank you to all the specialists for the PTC, Parent Teacher Consultations in Primary this week. I hope you found that very uh, helpful to look at some of the wider subject areas in the school. And of course, uh, next week we will be publishing our term two interim reports to families to look at your child's progress measures across the course of the last 12 weeks. We were also asked by KHDA to canvas our uh, parent and teaching community about Ramadan hours. I sent a survey out to all of the families uh, last week um, and the results came in and 50% of our population would like to keep our start time at 8am and our finish time at 1pm. So that will mean that the school day for children, will doors will open as normal at 7.40, classes will then begin uh, at 8 o'clock and lessons will finish at 1. Our staff will be here from 7.30 until 1.30 as per our UA Labour Law regulations for the period of Ramadan. So we're very much looking forward to celebrate that time period with all of our um, Islamic families. That information will be posted in our newsletter and of course there's any um, changes to individual class timetables so that activities are moving around or changing around then of course your teachers will um, make sure that you know that for primary students via Seesaw and then by our email communication for secondary. And yesterday, myself, the chairman, Mohan Varani and Miss Donnelly hosted our 22 junior MBA award finalists who presented to us for five minutes each uh, on their business plan initiative. We had over 150 uh, actual entries, 22 finalists. And after much deliberation yesterday, we uh, voted and created our scoring profile for all of the attributes for part of that programme. And our uh, top seven students, of which three have been presenting to the COO of Dubai Cares uh, today, our top seven were Mia Galev in seventh, Denise Akar in sixth, Lincoln Brooks in fifth, Sophia Gambari in fourth, and our three uh, finalists, our winners, were Alia Labib, who've got the overall third place from year three, Alicia Selly from year five, and our overall junior MBA winner was Rishi Nair in year six. So congratulations to all of those uh, winners, finalists, and the 22 students who got through to the final assessment phase. It was a fantastic experience and really great to see so many uh, young students from the age of seven to 11 presenting wonderful um, entrepreneurial and service enterprise uh, uh, activities to us. So well done to all of them. Do enjoy your weekend uh, with your families.